Hey everyone, it's Dr. A, and in today's video, we're going to take just a few moments to identify components in regions of the sarcomere. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into our lesson. So with the sarcomere, one of the first things that I'd like us to do is to identify the structures that we see on the far ends. Now, this structure is what we refer to as the Z-disc. We may oftentimes hear the Z-disc referred to as the Z-line, so those terms can be used interchangeably. But for our purposes, we're going to call it the Z-disc. Now, if you're writing with me, one of the things that you can make note of here is that the Z-disc serves as the anchor for what we call our actin filament. Now, when we use the word actin filament, what we're referring to is the fact that filament means protein and actin is a specific type of protein. And sometimes we'll hear it referred to as a thin filament or a thin protein. So because the Z-disc is an anchor for actin, let's go ahead and label where we'll find our actin filament on this image. And that'll be the light blue structure that you see here. Now we've labeled it on the right hand side of the screen but we could just as easily label it on the left side of the screen as well. Now let's move towards the middle of our sarcomere and right in the middle you'll see something that we call the M-line. Now the M-line serves as the anchor for what we call myosin or the myosin filament which is also called the thick filament. Now we'll go ahead and label that on the screen here and our thick filament are the thick pink structures that you see. So again, the inline is the anchor for myosin, and the Z-disc or Z-line is the anchor for actin. All right, so let's look at a couple of more regions and we'll be out of here. So let's take a look at what we refer to as the I-band. Now the I-band represents a small component of the sarcomere specifically the bracketed sections that we see, it's showing a portion of the actin all the way to the Z-disc. So that's what we call the I-band. The next thing that we'll showcase here is what we refer to as the A-band. And the A-band shows where there's overlap between our actin filament and our myosin filament. And last but not least, we'll make note of something called the H zone. And the H zone is the component of the sarcomere that only highlights the portion of the myosin filament. Well, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.